Y'all see the snow out here? Just a little bit of snow. Ain't no big snow. A little bit of snow. I'm done for the day. Today is Thursday. I had a dentist appointment tomorrow. So I was going home empty. But on my way home, the dentist called me and said they're canceling it because they got to close for the weather. But it's all good though, because I ain't want the load they offer me anyway. I'm gonna take it to the house and probably reload tomorrow. I'm gonna see what they got tomorrow to deliver on Monday. Hey, right, just last week, it was all white out here. Ain't too bad right now, it's all melting. But the snow is coming back. It's coming back starting tonight. And this is in North Carolina, if I didn't tell you. I'm like 50 miles from Charlotte. Not far at all. But I'm on, I'm like, maybe two hours from the house, maybe an hour and a half. I'm about to head to the house and I'll chill out for the rest of the night. Hey, shout out that CR England driver that spotted me today at the Loves down in South Carolina. Exit 106 off 85. The CR England driver spotted me out. Hey, dawg, keep on trucking, man. Be safe out there. Hey, this is a U.S. Express truck, but damn CR England trailer. But that guy that, that saw me, he was uh, he was CR England. So, shout out CR England. I want y'all to tell me what y'all see out here on this ground. Green grass. I don't see any snow. Just green grass. Hey, look, it's the reason. Slow you. Slow your roll, partner. It's the reason I said something about that snow. But it's no snow out here. But hey, it was, it was supposed to snow last night, but it didn't snow. Now I check the forecast. It's supposed to be coming. Uh, let matter of fact, let me check it again right now. Winter weather advisory. Okay, it has freezing rain at 3 p.m. and it has snow at 5 p.m., 50% chance of snow. I live in Dunn, North Carolina, before anybody asks, for the people that's really not familiar with me, Dunn, North Carolina. You see this right here? I don't know if y'all can see that. That's my baby shower uh, invitation. Baby shower coming up in, uh, let's see today's date. Today's the 21st, January 21st. Baby shower is February 5th. So what I did was, my teeth are pretty clean. Y'all can see my teeth, they're pretty clean. But uh, I wanted to make sure I got them. It was time for me to have a cleaning anyway, but I wanted to, I wanted to, uh, get them all spiffy before the baby shower you know you know like gonna be a lot of pictures and stuff being taken stuff like that had to get these things back spiffy but but no matter if i had the baby shower i still would have had an appointment in january right now i'm about to go on my trusty starbucks app and order me some starbucks i, I like doing the starbucks uh order ahead Yeah, that way I could just pull up, go through the drive through It's already there. And one thing I like about this Starbucks app, Starbucks app, you can, uh, 
you can see all the different varieties they have. Like if you actually go to Starbucks and you stand in line, you know, you don't want to hold the line up. Cause you know, you got Starbucks experts. You got people that some people come in there, they already know exactly what they're going to get. But me, you know, I like to, I like this. I like to explore. I like to, I like to damn test the waters and see everything. But on the Starbucks app, you can see everything. So, and if I don't know what it is, you can, I just Google it. Now, right now I'm keeping it simple. I'm ordering a, Cafe Misto, milk foam, 2% milk, steamed hot, standard, but I'm going to get warm. No, I'm a, I'm a, if I was ordering it in the store, I would get it warm, but since I'm ordering ahead, I'm going to get it steamed hot, because it's going to be ready by the, well, it should be ready by the time I get there, so it, it should be all right. Let's check out. 391 drive through okay earn two stars reload stores okay let's get it apple pay for all you super truckers that ain't caught up with technology apple pay <laughs> double click the side of the iphone twice just double click it face id apple pay See you soon, Dion. Estimated pickup is 9.54 a.m. It's 9.45 right now. 9.45. So while I'm sitting here, while I'm sitting here waiting on that, I'm about to call my job real quick. Because once I found out that my dentist appointment was canceled, I came home empty yesterday. So once I found out it was canceled, I um I I, I sent a message to PNS earlier, but but no no one answered. Well, I sent the message and no one wrote me back. So now I'm about to call. We can't. What I have is they still have. That's a YouTube video that y'all hear, just heard right now. I was watching this uh, YouTube video earlier. This guy named F FSC Trucking. I think that was his name. Yeah, so that's what just automatically played. But right now, let me call PNS. Thank you for calling PNS Transportation. Uh, if you know your. Please hold while I transfer your call. Being forwarded to a month. Hey, guess nobody wants to answer the phone to PNS today. I just remembered I gotta run back inside the house real quick. I forgot something. I actually forgot my wallet. And I know where it's at. It's... Oh, PNS call. Hello. Hey Dion, Tina. Hey, how's it going, Tina? You get my message? I did, I did. I'm waiting to find out and see. I don't know. I don't think it's any at Dudley because I don't think they got any preloaded. Um, but I'll find out now that you know. Okay, thank you, Tina. You're welcome. All right, bye bye. Bye bye. Well, hey, y'all heard that? Y'all heard? Hey, for, hey, for those of y'all who don't know me, hey, I was just talking about that baby shower on February 5th. Hey, guess what? I'm 30. I'll be 36 on February 1st. Yeah, so it's, it's like pretty ironic that my birthday's February 1st, but my birthday's on a Tuesday. The baby shower's on a Saturday. So the baby shower, that's going to be part of my birthday celebration. Because uh, almost every year, almost every year I do something for my birthday. But this year I ain't doing nothing. Look at this state trooper. Uh, he's he's spending the night there. He ain't, he ain't patrolling. All right, let me show y'all something real quick. 
that little area we just passed right there beside that hotel that's that's a truck parking lot if y'all ever come to Dunn, that's a marriott hotel they got truck parking i'm gonna show y'all another secret spot you see that truck just went you see that truck just went out that little side street goes right back to the to the ramp to go 95 south but what we have right here this is uh then they call this yeah sagebrush sagebrush steakhouse you see the, you see this parking lot this is where the trucks park at right here trucks campers rvs this is sagebrush steakhouse if y'all ever come to this area and see like i said this street right here it goes directly back to the to the interstate back to 95. they got another little place on the other side too this hotel right here a lot of trucks park right there on the shoulder. They park on the shoulder right there. But this this road I'm on now comes right off 421, where you can come up behind that Sagebrush Steakhouse. If y'all ever got to take a 34 at the truck stop, at the pilot or anything, but if you don't want to stay at the pilot, you know, you can come in town and go right there where I just showed you at. This is 421, the main highway that goes straight to Lillerton. And you go to Sanford, get back on 421 where it becomes a double lane, and you can ride that all the way to 85. This is our friendly neighborhood Starbucks right here. Hey, I could teach y'all some things, man. Teach y'all some things, hey. Just pay attention. It's 9.57. My order's supposed to be ready at 9.54. So we should be good. After I leave here, I got to run to the truck stop real quick. Hey, I had an uh, app order for Dion. Okay. You have a great one. Thank you. Y'all right, see how simple it is to order with that Starbucks app? Yeah. Nothing like a little Starbucks early in the morning. Hey, let me tell y'all something about doing. If you don't already know, 421 could be a dangerous highway. Reason being, they don't have a turn lane. Yeah, they don't have a turn lane, man. Then on top of that, right here when you come and done, all this stuff is you got the projects and all that right here by Taco Bell and and uh what's what we got? Burger King. You got the projects. So you got people. That's where I'm at right now. You got the projects on this side of town. I got off 421. See look. Look, little, little Arab store, little hood store. So you got people. They just walk, they just run across the highway. They don't pay attention. Yeah, you got the projects on this side of town. And you know, and you know how they say, when you go across the train tracks, then you're going into the other side of town. So this is the downtown area we're coming into now. The train tracks is like two stoplights up. Yeah, this is the downtown area right here. You got all the hood stuff back that way. <laughs> this is the downtown area. They just, they just put this store here, out and back running. Heart and hammer tattoo. This barbershop right here called Upscale Vision. That's actually where I get my hair cut at sometimes. You got the organic butcher shop for all you nut huggers. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, hey, listen. First Citizens Bank, which I wouldn't recommend them because they too old fashioned. Gotta wait a month to get a debit card. We're gonna go right here to this two hour parking. Two hour parking. Cause this is where I gotta go right here. Danny B. West, certified public accountant. Hey, let me tell y'all something. 
I don't really talk about the business aspects of trucking too much. But hey, I do have an LLC. I do have I, I get paid to an LLC. I have an EIN number. And I classify as an S Corp. I take care of my taxes. These people right here, hey, they're very helpful. They're very helpful, man. When I bought this new truck that I'm riding in right now, I bought it through I bought this truck through the business. So I could write it off through the business. I'm not sure all the details of it or whatever, but I had to get the, the invoice and um basically all the stuff that I got from the dealership, I had to give it to my accountant, these people right here. And and they they helped me out. Hey. I tell y'all what, I got two debit cards. I got two debit cards. I got one for the business. I get paid to that one, and I got one for my personal, both from PNC Bank. That's why I said I wouldn't recommend First Citizens because they're not up to date with technology. P uh, PNC Bank, they're up to date. Like, if you go to PNC Bank, open an account, you're going to get your debit card right then and there in the bank. And then you can have the business account and your personal account, and they have an app where you can connect both of the accounts and like whenever you want to pay yourself from the business, all you have to do is go on the app and transfer the money from the business to the personal account. And that way, when you go see your accountant, your accountant can see it on the bank statement and she'll know like they have like, like it's not word of mouth. It's actually like a digital record that, you know, you can't control. It's from the bank. You can't control that. So they're able to keep track of all your money. And that's good for the IRS. So, you know, you don't have any issues. That's like when, like like I was saying about my two my two accounts. Like whenever I whenever I buy stuff that I know shouldn't be bought like through a business, like let's say I go to the ABC store. I'm not going to buy that. I'm not going to buy that uh from with my business my business debit card. Like if I go to a bar or something like that, I'm not going to buy it. Like if I go get a tattoo, like we just passed the tattoo shop. You know, that's not business related. Because what I do at the end of each month, I, I get these people, I give them my whole month of uh, settlements, and I also get a, they also get a copy of my, um, my bank statement. They also get that. So they see, you know, they see everything that I purchased. Like, I give you an example. I just bought a MacBook, uh, maybe like, I bought the MacBook in November. It showed up on my, on my bank statement. My accountant called me, she called me like a week later, she said, Dion, I see, I see you have a purchase on your um on your bank statement for it was like twenty five hundred dollars because I bought a MacBook Pro. And I actually bought that MacBook Pro because I needed a new laptop and I always wanted a MacBook. So when the new MacBook came out, I bought it. And she was like, Yeah, I see you have a purchase up here for twenty five hundred dollars. She was like, You wanna tell me what it is? <laughs> hey, and it seems like it seems I mean, I don't want y'all to feel like, you know. You got to answer to you got to answer to an accountant, you know, like you got to tell them what you do with your money. But it's really not the case. They're there to help you. They're there to help you. So she was like, "Yeah, you want to tell me what it was?" I was like, "Yeah, I bought a MacBook." <laughs> and she was like, uh, "Was it business related?" And I was like, I, I paused. I thought about it. I said, "I said, yeah, it was business related. That's how I keep up with my emails, my receipts, my bank records." I look at the uh, the loads or whatever. I'm like, yeah, it's business related. So she was like, okay, we're gonna write it off on as a, as a business, as a uh, an asset to the business. Hey, so hey, anybody that's looking to go lease or whatever, you know, you gotta have, you gotta get paid to that LLC, man, because you you'll save on your taxes. You'll be able to write stuff off. Don't get paid to your social security number. So LLC. And you want the LLC to be classified as an S Corp. So when you go create it, just create the LLC. The, to be classified as an S Corp, that ain't nothing but some paperwork that you know they that they they that, that your accountant will take care of. And you know what's funny? When I first started leasing my truck, I didn't know any of this stuff. I just I was from talking to people, watching YouTube stuff, and I, I got everything set up. I came up here to this place right here. They took me in the back. They, they 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 was asking me a bunch of questions and stuff like that. And it's real simple. You just go, you just you just basically tell the truth. <laughs> tell the truth. Hey, they ask you, you know, what you gotta pay for, this or that, you know, your 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 um 
my other my other truck, my Tahoe, the one that the transmission went out. You know, when I, when I first started coming here, you know, I was still making payments on that. So that was a business asset at the time. And uh, I actually haven't told them that I sold the Tahoe yet, but I have sold that Tahoe. But I wasn't making any more monthly payments on it anyway because it's paid off. And because when I bought this new truck, she actually asked me, she said, do you still have the Tahoe? And I was like, yes, because at that point in time, I did have it. So I guess I do need to let them know because some of my insurance, I pay my insurance through my car insurance. I pay that through the business account as well. I pay a lot of things through the business account. My cell phone bill, my car insurance, um, gas, putting gas in the car, food, almost all the food I pay for on the road or at home is through the business account because hey, it's business related. Everything I buy at the truck stop, business related. <sighs> y'all tired Y'all tired of hearing me running my mouth, man? I got to go in here and sign these papers, man. And I tell y'all what, my trust, my trust level has been going up with my accountant every year. It's been going up. Because just this year, every time I pay my quarterly taxes, just this year, I used to have to come up here and get the paperwork. And I had to write a check and send the check in the mail. And I always had to take a picture of every check so they could see, you know, what the check was for or whatever. Because at first I wasn't doing that. I was just sending the check to the IRS or whatever. But I wasn't. I wasn't making a copy of the check. So like two years ago, I had to go to the bank and I had to get a copy of every check that I wrote that year. So that taught me my lesson. Like from now on, keep a copy of the checks. I wasn't really keeping up with everything like I should have been. But now I don't have to write checks anymore. Like now the accountant, they pay my taxes directly. They pay directly from, from them to wherever they got to get paid. They pay the taxes for me. I don't have to write a check. And they basically, they draft the money out of my account. So, you know, they could just, they just draft it out of my account. Like, and that's a lot simpler. And, I, and when they asked me, did I want to start doing that? I was like, yeah, that's fine. I was like, just, just give me a heads up, you know, because I keep my tax money in a separate account from my regular bank account. I got, that's in a whole nother account. So all I got to do when it's time to, and I do that to keep up with it. So I know exactly what I got. So I don't spend it. But but all I got to do is like, like I said, PNC Bank. You just go on the app, transfer a couple buttons. You transfer the money. So that's what I did. I remember it's funny. One time I picked up a load right here downtown Dunn. Right over here. You go to that next light, make a right. It's a, um, it's a place down there. That that had that's that it's some bag it's something in bags, I want to say it's bag fertilizers right down the street, and I came I came through here one time downtown, and my accountant and all of them they were standing outside they was they was just getting to work I came through here I blew the horn, boop, boop. hey 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 Lily hey, yeah these people man they're real nice people man I'm glad I met them, and I would advise any of y'all to get an accountant. Because trying to, it's a lot of forms and stuff that they have to submit to the IRS. So if you don't want to end up paying back taxes, it's best, like when you first start out, it's best to just go ahead and get it set up the way you need it to be set up. Like, don't be one of those guys that's like, okay, I go my first year without paying taxes. And then bam, next year, next year, you're going to be, you're going to be fucking up shit creek without a paddle. Because I'll tell y'all what, man, this year right here, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Like, I pay quarterly taxes. I've been paying like, um, I want to say about 1800 every quarter. I've been paying paying in. But this year, for, for the last quarter, I had to pay like $2,500. Like, I don't know. I, I don't think I made any more money than I did the other quarters. But but I remember somebody was telling me about the damn... Um, Whatever some shit Joe Biden did with the damn taxes, like, like the tax rate went up. I like, man, I'm going from eighteen hundred to twenty five hundred. Hey, but that's what that's what America voted for. That's what they voted for. I'm already seeing the damn the tax increases already, and I, I'm not no fucking uh, upper class American. I'm just middle class. Damn, death prices up. 
used to get twenty dollars in death. Now you gotta spend sixty dollars. Hey, hey, we, we ain't even gonna start that. Let me go sign these damn papers. <laughs> hey, I only had to sign two papers. I had to for I had to sign a a form. I think she said a form nine forty one and another form. It was one form I had to I had to sign that was that sums up my payroll for the year, something. And it was something. It was two papers I had to sign. Hey, I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> hey, they give me a copy of this stuff too. They give me a copy of this stuff like uh, like every three three months. They give me a copy of it. I don't do anything with it, but just put it up. So whenever I get ready to later on in life, whenever I get ready to go buy my big house, go buy my my big two story house, I have all this stuff put put up. Cause let me tell y'all something too, man. Whenever you switch over from uh from a W-2 to a 1099 employee, like you know when you go buy a house, you know you gotta have you gotta have like two years at the job or whatever, something like that. Whenever you switch over from from uh look at this place. It's the corner bar. I ain't been there in a while. Little little hole in the wall bar. But whenever you switch over from a from a W-2 to a 1099, it's like you can't like when you go buy a house that you got they're not gonna they're not gonna allow you to do it here's that place that has that bag fertilizer right here you got a martin's rental storage warehouse the other the main office is on the other side of town this is just another like you, you matter of fact you check in at the other side of town over there by uh over there by by the train tracks close to the what's that school they got over there um, they got a truck driving school over there. It's sponsored by, by Warner. Some truck driving school that they got right, at, right here in Dunn. But Martin's where Martin's Rentals, they, they sell fertilizer. Because if y'all remember, when I used to park at that old truck stop back in the day, right here in Dunn, can't park there anymore. Because uh, a lot of truckers was leaving trash out there. And, and another thing too, those guys that that pull those damn um those end dumps or whatever you call them those guys used to come out there and park and be dropping stuff off the back of the truck because they used to have manure on the truck they used to have manure and all kind of stuff man and they used to drop it on the ground have flies every damn where all kind of stuff man but that's where the main office is at for martin's rentals so you check in over there and e either you're going to get loaded over there or you're going to get loaded over here at that storage warehouse that I just passed. So that's why I picked up that uh, picked up that that bag fertilizer back in the day. I picked it up and delivered it the same day. It was going to uh, where was it going? Sylvania, Georgia, right down there off 301. Ride down 95, go through Santee, go across that little lake, the little lake down there. As soon as you go across that lake, past that rest area, you go about two more exits, and you you get on you get off on 301. That takes you to Orangeburg, South Carolina. You go through Orangeburg, and then you just ride 301 all the way to Georgia, to Sylvania. I want to say it's about a four-hour drive, maybe maybe four hours from Dunn, because I picked it up from over there and I delivered it the same day in Sylvania. I remember. It's crazy how we can remember loads from years ago. Cause I tell you what, I dropped the load off about five, about five o'clock. I did head it to, I did head it back towards uh, towards Savannah, cause I knew I was gonna reload in Savannah the next day. So I did head it to the Loves, right off Richmond Hill, right there off 144, going to Fort Stewart. It's crazy how we can remember all these things. I spent the night at that Loves. The next morning, I don't remember what load I got. I think I had to end up going to Statesboro. Yeah, I, I should have dead headed to Statesboro, but I dead headed to Savannah. Cause from there, Statesboro is probably about another, maybe another hour and a half. So yeah, went to Statesboro, picked up some lumber and took that up to uh, Madison, Virginia. Now look, we're gonna be coming to the truck stop right now. Let me show y'all while I'm coming to the truck stop. I got here late last night. You won't know where to park. So this is what I did. I 
pull my truck over here to the side before y'all insult me a lot of trucks park over here a lot of trucks park right here you come at night this thing will be full but i knew since i was off even if i wasn't off i would i still would have been up here early so what i got to do now is I don't think I'm gonna get a load today. It's 10:20, and they ain't called me back. They ain't sent a message or nothing. And they, I mean, some kind of load, any kind of load, you know, I could Oxford or Samora, anywhere. So I guess you know I'm just gonna enjoy my day off. That's all I can do. Just enjoy my day off. <laughs> what y'all think? Should I stress about it, or should I just enjoy the day off? I'm just going to enjoy the day off. Whew. Matter of fact, if you look over there, way over there, you got one of those uh, truck driving school trucks. Roadmaster, that's the name of it. So yeah, I'm, I came up here just to move my truck. Move this bad boy. We got a couple parking spots right over here at the front. Let me move this truck real quick. So ain't nobody come I'm trying to kick my ass. Hey, at one point in time, you can park your personal vehicle right here. And then, you know, go run a couple loads, come back and park. Well, come back and get your truck, park your truck. There's my baby. But you can't do it no more. They're actually about to uh they're actually about to start expanding in the highway right over there on 95. We're headed back in town. I'm about to go to the barbershop. That same barbershop I told y'all about. I'm about to go get my hair cut real quick before I take it to the house. It is 1055 right now. And PNS has not called me back yet. So that tells me. I probably won't get a load today. Ain't looking good for your boy. Ain't looking good. Hey, but it is what it is. Can't put a price on happiness and peace. Because that's what I'm doing today. Just being at peace. Sitting at home chilling. Hey, let's get it before. After. Hey, I ain't getting nothing off the top. Just got my face cleaned up. That's all, that's it. Just clean up the face a little bit. All right, gang, let me get to the house and wrap this thing up. Get on to the crib. Chill out for a little bit. Flatbed game. 